Nick Eliotti, top six teams. My top six after this weekend. Yeah. UCLA is number one, Oregon number two. Now, I'm going to quickly say that that could be 1A, 1B. We will settle that next Saturday night or next Saturday afternoon yeah. when they play each other. Three, to me, is clearly Utah right now, most complete team offensively and defensively. Not most complete above the first two, but ahead of SC because SC, to me, has to play better defense. But offensively, they're incredible. They're at four. Oregon State, their defense has caught up to their offense a little bit. I think they're a good team, a bow team, unless things just go awry. But I like their defense match with their offense now. And Washington can score points. They're a little injured on defense. They need to play a better defense, a little bit better defense for me. But that's my top six. And I felt like I was in hyperspeed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I don't want to be in hyperspeed. I'll right? just I'll just follow up I to can, say Oregon State one win away from bowl eligibility. To your point, coach, so they've got yeah. five wins now. Oh man! Oh so, yeah, you take I, a moment. Gus is top to them. Six. Yeah. You want to get mean, your blood pressure you, up? Look at this guy's list. Yeah. I mean, wait, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Wait, here pit. comes the train wreck, people. You ready for it? Yeah. Okay, I'm let's ready. get it up there. So, okay, number one, Oregon. Any team in the conference right now? I do not want to play. Number one, it's Oregon. Followed up strangely. Fresh off the tonight's loss is USC. But USC is a one-loss team. I still think that they're going to bounce back uh, from this. I think they can very well run the table going through. And I think that they probably, of all these teams, I know Oregon's above them, but I think USC might have the best chance at the college football playoff. Now, then followed up by, as Coach said, a very, very solid Utah. Uh, but, you know, then we come to UCLA. And you're like, Gus, why is UCLA fourth? They're the undefeated team in the conference. Well, the reason is, and I'm probably going to eat my words next week, I don't know, but I still think, and I say this every week, that they really haven't been tested yet. Obviously, they beat Utah uh, last week, but they have a very, very difficult game going to Autzen next week. We're going to find out who they are. They also have to go, and I'm, you're looking at me like you're so biased, but I think that little trip to Sun Devil Stadium on November 5th, is, it can be tricky. They, we, brought, we were talking about it earlier. Remember when Arizona State upset Oregon and that, uh, a couple of years ago? Well, this could be tricky for them as well. And then, of course, they have to play USC as well. And then rounding out that list is Washington and Oregon State. There's not much between those two teams right now, and I think that's where we are. Could be totally different next week.